Hey, Gibson Park, Ireland looking for a bit of pace, England look offside all day. Hugh O'Keenan says, I'll take that space, and up to the five metre line he goes. Gibson Park, Ireland hit their straps, tight furlong. Huge personal moment for that man. He is the all-time point scorer. Fields of Athenry once again around the Aviva as Ireland look to set the platform inside the English 22. Van der Flair back inside, Sheehan, gap opens up, Sheehan! Ireland have the opening try at the Aviva Stadium and the place has gone wild. exactly what you want a fantastic line out probably Simon needs to be in there because just watch this they think they're going to go the catching drive Van der Flair pops up and all of a sudden Sheen the Lansdowne club has just erupted that's a beautiful ball back inside the pace of the hooker to Alangi actually pushes him over the line that's given the crowd something to cheer about beautiful play it's a bluff play they went for the catching drive, no it wasn't, Van der Flair breaking off to the right, back inside, England were asleep, what a score. Well, the boy is very much a ball player, 24 years of age, his third international try, the attitude was right, everything that they did was about stopping Ireland, doing what they did so well, and you wonder what happens from here. Crossfield, Sexton to Lowe, and after it goes Slade, and it's flung back inside from James Lowe, and maybe he should have held on. Farrell, we really are playing kick tennis right now. James Lowe and Bundyaki and Jameson Gibson Park, and all of a sudden there might be a bit of room, and Gibson Park's away. And after his own kick, he will go. What way is it going to bounce? Towards that English line, and into touch it goes. We're in that prediction out. Oh. Gibson Park emerges and then kicks downfield. And this one is chased and lowers onto it. And just as he looks to scoop That's it away enough. back inside, it's an English hand in there. And Farrell and Porter, and oh, it's getting a bit tasty now. And it's knocked on into touch. You've gone to Here we go. The Scrum. Scrum taken. That's nice Dave Ribbons, unfortunately, who drops it. Gibson Park is in there like any good scrum half. And then it's just the bounce of the ball. Low does it well. We've did it, there's no felt play. That's gone forward. Huge moment of this game, you feel. Inside the final quarter, Ireland in prime position. And they have the advantage, and Bundiaki buries the head and gets a yard or two, and Ireland are going to bang away at the door and see if they can put a big man over. Aki Henshaw! Robbie Henshaw! The power and precision of Ireland on that occasion was more than England's defence could handle. They have their second try. And they have some daylight on the scoreboard, and they're beginning to believe in the Aviva that this might well be their day. Just can't keep them out, it's a numbers game, they all think they're going to go on the left. Now, no, Gibson Park comes back right, Bundiaki, I'm not taking it again, I'm going to give it me mate. I'm going to give it a Henshaw, gaps all over the place. Jamie nice. George playing out on the wing, that's what does, pressure does to you sometimes. But Ireland are holding their heads while all those are, around them are losing theirs. Simple, there, simple yeah. score in the end. Collapsing. Good scrum from Ireland, hit him once, come back on that blind that. side okay. and put the big fella in. Robbie Henshaw's 10th try for Ireland. And Aki and he, well, nothing England could do. And that is right there where they missed Freddie Stewart. Big kick coming up. Is a heck of a career for Dan Cole. Absolutely. Big moment. Born in Leicester, played for the Tigers. Backwards. Sheehan and Ireland's mall retreat, so the hooker who scored Ireland's first try comes away. And O'Toole, who's been a real fine for Ireland in this Guinness Six Nations, takes it on. 
another super pass from Gibson Park to Hansen, which created the room for Sheehan and Ireland are beginning to motor. Ryan Baird into lots of tacklers. Jack Conan tries to get it away. Sheehan! Oh, that is wonderful! That is wonderful! Jack Conan, the creator, Dan Sheehan finished like a winner. Ireland have their third try and more than one hand on this grand slam. And Sheehan has his second score. A beautiful yeah, work move from the, the line out in the first half, and you've got to say, yeah. brilliant play from Gibson Park. Back at the blind side, Ribbons is caught, smashes into Van Fleet, set the ball up, don't panic, and then he goes out wide, then it comes back. Mike Hansen, lovely pass, unbelievable out the back door. Conan there, just come on. Watch this from Conan. That's the skills of a British lion. British and Irish lion, I've got to be. I'll be, I'll be Marched out of the place if I said that, but what again? They can breathe, and I think you can breathe now, Ryle. The job is nearly done. Jack Conan, what a moment for him. He has been the one that has lost out in the competition for starting places in that back row with O'Mahony and Van der Fleer and Caelan Doris, but he performed so well for Ireland against Scotland last week, and he comes off the bench again and creates a wonderful moment. I think he enjoyed that. I think he might celebrate tonight. Ireland are looking to put a cherry on top of this Grand Slam performance. Herring gets this! Rob Herring! More importantly than that, they now have a Grand Slam. They certainly did. They're the bookies' hot favourites coming into this. Sheenan gets two, gets the player of the match. Herring, reserve hooker, gets one. Ballina Hinch has just exploded, I'm sure. Phenomenal there.